Well, hello, people of the internet. Look at all these pens. All these water-based pens. I wonder which ones work best in double-sided colouring books. Shall we have a play? Come on in. Let's put all this stuff away and we'll have a play and see which ones of these water-based pens, cheap ones, expensive ones, middle of the road ones, which ones work better in double-sided colouring books. So a few weeks ago I made a video about the different types of pens or the best pens to use in mandala books. I specifically was looking for alcohol-based markers in that video because I like using alcohol-based markers in mandala books or in any colouring books really because I like the, the fact that they're non-streaky and they don't leave like the sort of blending lines and they don't peel the paper so they don't tear up the paper like water-based markers do but I am aware that when using alcohol-based markers they do leak through the paper so you can't really use them in double-sided colouring books so today's video I am going to go through a lot of pens <laughs> and uh, see which is which I think in my opinion and this is all just my my videos are always just my opinion which water-based markers are best in double-sided colouring books yay so these are the pens that we are going to play with we are going to play with our teaser tween markers I'm not going to pull out the colours that I'm going to use because I'm going to use all different colours but that's number one a our teaser and then number two is the flare uh, paper make flare pens that's going to be number two number three is a hoo hoo I should have said number two is a hoo hoo um, these are the double ended they are brush on one side and really fine tip on the other side they are going to be number two number three is the old faithful Pentel Studios that I bought in 2008 or 9 really old Next is the Stedler double-ended fibre tip pens. I have shown these already in a video. I compared them to the Stedler permanent um, double-ended pens. So these are going to star in this water-based one. And next is the good old Crayola super tips. We can see how they fare in the world of double-sided colouring. Then the expensive ones, the Tombows, my favourite pens, or one of my favourite pens, the Tombows. And then we are going to finish with the Triplus. You've seen them before, you've seen me comparing these with water based, but these are not the fine tips, these are the felt tips. So there's two different types, and these are the felt tips. Okay, so they are all the pens in the running, but what are the books that we are going to use? Okay. So the most popular adult colouring author, or one of them, is Joanna Basford. And so we are going to do a sample in this page. And I don't know if you can see, but I have drawn a line. I have cut this mandala. Mandala. Why do we always say mandala? <sighs> I've cut this mandala into eight. I've put the names around it in pencil. So it says Arteza, Flair, Ahuhu, Pentel, Stedler. Super Tips, Tombow and Triplus. But we're also going to test the pens in a really thin double sided. This is like children's thin copy paper. And we're also going to do it in a very popular Million Sloths by Lulu Mayo book. Okay, so these, these, this one is going to be really structured. These two are just going to be, you know, a little less structured. So, I might as well start. I'm going to do it in a similar way as to how I uh, did it in the other one. So get you down. I'm going to start with the Arteza at the top. Okay, so what I'm going to do in each little segment, I'm going to do these little, three little um, bluebells or 
whatever they are and I'm going to use uh, a red and a green and so from the Artesas I'm using poppy red and the green I'm going to be using is just green I don't want to use anything extremely fancy so. So first things first, the Arteza pens have two tips. They have the brush tip, which is a really soft, small brush tip, which works quite nicely. It's really difficult to colour with the camera there. <laughs> Okay, so they have the brush tip and then they have this really fine tip. Now it's not quite as fine tip as a not quite as a fine tip as a triplus fine liner, triplus fine liner, but it is and it is a nylon plastic tip. You get two options. It's a really fine point though. I'm going to switch back to the and the good thing about these is obviously with Joanna Brushwood books you do get a lot of fine details so it's good to have the option of having a fine point okay now we use the green and we'll just do thing is with what based markers if you go over you can feel it stress in the paper especially with a hard tip like like these ones are because obviously it's scratching the paper as well as um, wet wetting the paper it's wet in the paper and then it's scratching on it as well so it's, they're not necessarily the best I'll do one of these leaves as well so that we can get a chance to do a swathe of colour so we can see the the streakiness I think the good thing about our teasers with their brush pens is because the brush is so light it doesn't scratch the paper and quite they're quite fluid so quite a lot comes out okay so we've gone over that a couple of times now let's see what that looks like on the back so there's the front for the Arteza pens and here's the back so nothing has really come through at all so even where it was a bit scratchy on the green and I went over this green sort of twice nothing has really come through so that is the Arteza so now on to the flare so paper make flare pens they're not really sort of advertised as colouring pens they're more advertised as journaling pens these are the medium point ones they have a nylon tip that does say on the front of the packet that it's a felt tip pen on their website it says it's a nylon tip so it's quite a firm tip okay so we do these little flowers so with these you can feel the firm tip scratching a little bit at the paper so unlike unlike with the Arteza brush tips with the brush tips you could feel they were sort of like like brushes like paint brushes so it felt like more that they was gliding across the paper this feels more scratchy but then it is a firmer nib or tip I'm not doing my best colouring in the world that's not the point of this video. So let's get 
get the green. So yeah, we can get into those little details. And then we'll just do this leaf. Is it this leaf we're doing? Make sure we stay, yeah it is. We'll make sure we stay in the right, the right quadrant section. These are difficult to colour with on a big segment. This isn't a huge segment, but it does feel like you're using a writing pen. Which is what effectively they are, they're not, not sold as colouring pens. Okay, so that's that. Very, you can see the scratchiness on it. Let's look at the other side. So nothing has come through on this paper. And you can see, you know, Jonas Bashwood paper is quite thick. It's almost like card. Okay, so that was the flare. Next is the Ohuhu water-based markers. These are not alcohol-based markers. They're by the same company that make alcohol markers. They have a brush tip, a really big meaty brush tip on that side that's much bigger than the Arteza brush tip if you want to see the two together that's the two together the Arteza has a really tiny brush compared to these oh who who ones and then on the other side it has a really difficult to remove cap and a fine liner, and this is almost the same as the Tri Plus fine liners. A real fine liner. A real two different ends. So let's move around to the Ohuhu section, which is here, and let's do the little bluebells. They're just called them bluebells. I guess they're red bells, really, aren't they? Now these are brush markers like the Ohuhu, so they are less scratchy on the paper. It's soft, it's a real big soft brush. People wonder why I miss bits when I'm doing this, is because the camera is right above, so you've got the best view of it. And I'm colouring without my glasses on to the side, so I can't, I don't actually have, you have a better view than me basically. Yeah, hoo hoo, hoo hoo, hoo, hoo doo. Okay, I'm gonna use the fine tip on for the green to see. Actually, it's not bad. Even though they're, you know, it's a fine hard tip. It's very fluid, so they're coming out quite good. And then we'll just use the brush side to do the leaf. By the way, I haven't pre-done this test. This test is, I, I am, I'm learning and going to see the result the same time as you. That's the ohuhu, let's see how that went through the page. So, there's nothing there. Let's check in where that leaf is. Yep, nothing there, nothing went through at all. There's nothing through on the paper. For the ohoos. Okay, so now we're going to go to the pentels. Okay, so there's a pentel, uh, pentel color fine point. They came from a set called the Studio. Oh, just noticed they've got color numbers. Look, 102 and 104. I'll be able to swatch them. Yay! I've never swatched these. I've had these since about 2006. They haven't done bad, so these three little things here. Quite, it's a fi it's a fibre tip pen, felt tip pen. It's not as hard as the what was the one up there? I've forgotten already. The flare, which was a nylon tip pen, so a plastic, almost hard plastic. This is softer, which is actually nicer to use. 
Whenever I use these, I'm always surprised how how nice they are actually for cheap felt pens. Hmm. Nice. And the green. The good thing about Joanna Bashford Bassford colouring books, the paper is really thick. It can actually take quite a bit of water medium or water based medium. Well that's the current versions anyway. The first versions that came out had really thin paper but that's changed now. Obviously the streaking that you get is part of the nature of water based pens. Okay, let's see what the other side looks like. Ooh, ooh, interesting. So these ones, they did feel juicy and you can see a little bit of shadowing. You can see a bit of the red. Let's see if I can zoom you in. There you go. So you can see the red and the green. So considering how good the Man Bashford Baker is and the fact that nothing else has come through, Feels like Pentel are not going to be towards the uh, to win towards the winners list. Always difficult when I get down to this corner of the book because it's hard to get it under. We are going to look at the Stedler now. Now there are actually two different types of Stedler uh, water-based pens. There's these ones, the double-ended fibre tips, and there's these ones, the double-ended watercolour brush pens. I have shown both of these in a comparison video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of use both. I'm going to grab the red uh, from the normal fibre tip thing, uh, pens, and they have uh, a, a, a broad side and there's no click and a fine tip side. I'm going to use the broad side first of all. Good thing about this board side, it has got a really fine point, so it looks like you're not going to be able to do fine details, but you can. Not bad to use, I can feel the water soaking into the paper. Okay. Switch to the green. I'm going to use the fine end for the, the green bits here. It's a very scratchy fine point. It feels scratchy. It feels like the flare, so hard like the flare. But it's pointier. The flare felt like it had a rounder tip. Quite scratchy. And then what I'm going to do for the leaf, so I'm going to use the watercolour version, which is the same, same ink in them, but they have a brush type tip at this end. In the leaf, making sure you're in. You are okay. And if you want to see what they compare like to the Ahu uh, 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 Ahu brush tips, size wise, so you can really see how big those Ahu uh, oh, hoo Ahu brush tips are. This one is the Ahu. Uh, Oh hoo hoo, and this one is a Stedler. Now we'll see what happened on the other side. And we are here, about here. There really isn't anything on the other side. So same as all the others, apart from the apart from those naughty pen tails. Okay, so now the super tips. Dun dun dun. Crayola Super Tips. Probably the most famous kids marker of all time. Exactly the same type tip as the Stedler. Feels the same. They actually feel quite smooth. But of course they are water based so they will be streaky. Interesting shape. Never noticed that the the bit you grip is triangular. 
Don't mind I do these experiments so you don't have to. You can sit at home and watch me do this and go, oh that's good, I know now to buy the whatever it is, pens. I won't bother with the whatever it is, pens. I have no idea what's going to come out on top. This green is very juicy. It actually sort of bled into the red a little bit there. Do the leaf. By the way, if it's of any interest, all these pens are brand new. I actually bought a new set of flare because my flares were quite old. Or oh, I, I say that, the Pentel ones are not. But they did rather well, didn't they? Mm, very streaky. Very streaky because it was very wet. Okay, let's see how that came out on the other side. Nope, nothing showing through in this this area here, and there is nothing. So next is the Tombos, which are the most expensive pens in this comparison. So this is the Tombow, more based, has a big brush big brush tip on one side let's compare it to the ohuhu because we know that because we know that's a big one the ohuhu is still bigger but it could just be sticking out more okay so we're doing these three now the o the tombow brush tip it's weird actually because the tip feels soft but the it feels hard but the, the, the tip's a little bit soft it's hard to explain it felt like it was going to be hard and then the, the tip's got more give to it it feels like the brush tips work best in some ways because they have a lighter touch and because they have a lighter touch, they don't scratch the paper so much. Which on top of adding water to the paper, it's going to stress it out more. Oh, I should use the other tip really for this fine bit. So on the other end here, because obviously it is a dual tipped pen, there is a basically a, a felt tip tip. So just a, I don't know whether it's nylon or felt tip, it looks like compressed felt. And this is very firm and you can almost instantly feel the paper chewing up underneath it. I mean it's handy that they've got two tips so you can do fine bits and unfine bits but that really did, um, whoops I missed a bit. You have to go over it a little bit and then you can feel it, the paper stressing. Let's do the leaf in the brush. Tip. I do feel quite artistic when you're using a brush pen because it feels, I don't know, more. It's really difficult to get an even coverage though. I mean, it's difficult to get even coverage with any water based pens. Let's try that. Okay, let's look on the other side. We're about here and I can't see any. No, there is none. I've just seen where, where I where that green felt like and it's very rough. Where that green felt it was running through the paper. There is nothing. Okay, so on to the last one, which is the Stadler Stadler Triplice colour. So the sister pen or the brother pen of the fine liner pen. And they have the felt tip, fibre tip. Interestingly, look how them Arteezas have dried down. They've gone really orangey. That was called poppy red. I thought that'd be a real red. Okay, let's bring you in a little bit. Now these was, when I used these on my mandala, I quite liked them because they, obviously when you're doing mandalas, fine line mandalas, you 
you don't get a chance to really get any streak in because you're doing fine lines. But when you're doing colouring, you are going to see more streaking. So, though they always came out, you know, probably my second choice for mandalas. I'm that doesn't necessarily hold any store for this competition. It's a very dark green. The tip is not too pointed, so it's not too scratchy and hard. It's quite nice, actually. And let's do the leaf. It's a really dark green. Okay, nice and streaky. <laughs> let's have a look at the other side. Okay, I see nothing. Nothing. Nothing has come through. I had a good old stare and there's nothing there. So the only one that came through was the one down here, which was the Pentel. Okay, so I've zoomed all the way back out so we can have a look at all of them together. So there's the Triplus, the Arteza, which have given a nice soft effect actually. <laughs> if you just heard that noise, that was my stomach rumbling. That's the Flares. That's the Ohuhus, which actually gave quite a nice effect. Seems anything with a brush tip. The Pentails, which we know soaked through to the other side. The Steadlers, which wasn't too bad. The Super Tips, which held their own considering their price. The Tombos, which you think these two together here, these are about £6 and these are about £200 for the set. And then the triplus, triplus. So, really, there's not a lot between the pens in this test. If you feel them, the pen tails that went through feel really rough. You can feel the paper has gone. Steadlers are not too bad. The super tips are the smoothest. Oh no. Yeah, the super tips are the smoothest. Mmm. Interesting, but then again, they are going to hold up really well because this paper from in Joanna Bassford books is very good. So let's try it in a different book. Okay, so what I've done is I've got one of each of them out here. So the Arteza, Flare, Ohuhu, Pentel, Stedler, Super Tip, Tombow and Triplus. You know that they're all there waiting to go. And I'm going to play with this book, which is a uh, cheapish book by Lulu Mayo. Um, I'm going to find something with leaves in it really so I can do one of it. Oh there we go. Leaves. Let's make sure that picture on the back you could see stuff coming through. You could. Brilliant. So we're going to do one of each of these leaves and I am going to try to do them sort of in some kind of clock order so we, so we remember what is what. So Alphabetical first is going to be our teaser. The our teaser pens do feel nice to use. The brush tip's nice, smooth. Can't tell whether that was a bit of the paper that just came up. Or whether that was a bit of the um, nib falling off. Okay, we're on to the flare. Rougher. Harder work. Didn't get much lineage with the... Um, Arties, which is nice. Next is the don't you roll away pentel. Next is the oh hoo hoo. The thing about using what base markers is you know they're going to streak. What you can do is use the streak in your favour. So if you're doing leaves, you can use them to do the veins on leaves. Okay, next is the 
pincel. Here's the pencil. Next is a uh, Stedler. I'm using the, the normal tipped ones rather than the watercolour ones because I know that's the one that most people have. And the one that comes in the most amount of colours. I'm not a fan of this super tip type tip. It feels like it could go over the line at any point. <laughs> Talking of super tip tip, the next one is the super tip. The trick here with water based markers is to try not to go over too much. Try to get as much done in one stroke as you can. Next is the Tombow, and then after that is the Tri Plus. I'm going to do this as the Tombow and that as the Tri Plus. The Chombo, and this is a Tri Plus. Really dark, this one. And it feels like you can't do the. No, you can, but. Because the tip is so hard. Okay. I have pen all over my hands. Let's have a look what it looks like on the other side. Okay, so some have gone through. Quite a few have gone through actually. Let's try and pinpoint who's the culprits. So, Arteza. Nope. Mm, a little bit. Flare, there, that's actually flare actually. Let's try and hold this to the, up to the light. Okay. Let's take you up. Let's hold this up to the light. Then we'll be able to see. So it doesn't look like our teaser did actually go through. No, it didn't. The flare went through. So that's flare. The Ohuhus didn't. The Pentels did. The what comes after Pentel? Stedler. The Stedlers didn't. The who's that? Super tips didn't. Oh, they did just a bit there. That is still super tip. Right in the middle there is the Tombow, which didn't go through at all. And up there here is the Tri Plus, which didn't go through at all. So the Arteza, the Tri Plus, and the Tombows. And the... Yeah, the super tips did a bit. Okay, so the three that didn't go through at all were the Arteza, the Ohuhu, just making sure I've got yeah, Flair Ohuhu, and the Tombos. And rough wise, Tombos the smoothest. That pentails are not good. Okay, so now, now the test is the cheapy, cheapy, really cheap, nasty <laughs> colouring book. Okay, so the final test is in this colouring book. This is a really thin, cheapy, cheapy, cost me one pound ninety nine colouring book. Now I probably could find. Oh, that's all greens, but um, there isn't really. Now, this one here. Which is this one here? Look, it's got lots of green in it. Let's do that one and use the greens again, unless there is one with reds in it. And we could use the reds again. No, not really. We'll do that one. Lady in the Lake. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it should be page six. There she is. What's on the other side? Which picture am I going to ruin? Klimt. So, 
doesn't really matter what I do because we are just testing the pens. So let's start at the beginning and then let's just do stripes. So this is the Arteza. Okay, that's our teaser. Now we might as well turn as we go so that we don't lose our whatever. So our teaser didn't go through on cheapy cheap paper. Well done, our teaser. Quite streaky though. So next is flare. Really difficult to colour with flare. Do not recommend flare pens for colouring. They are really for writing. Okay, let's have a look at those. Did it go through on the cheapy cheapy paper? No, they do say part of their advertising is that they won't bleed through and it, you can see it if I hold it up to the light. It didn't. I'm just trying to see, is there a dot there? No, nope, it's not. Nothing went through. Well done, Claire Flair. Next, oh hoo hoo. Oh, nice to colour with. Big, swathing brush pen. Obviously, I've gone over. So we're going to get a double layer there. Okay, come over. Did oh hoo hoo go through on the thin paper? No, it didn't. Wow, and I double layered there as well. Next, the Pentel. Again, fibre tip, so a bit more difficult to use. Try not to go over that ooh hoo hoo bit because I don't want to. Try not to go over too much. Oh, there's the Pentel. Pentel out of the running. Next, Stedla. Uh, let's try to find another bit that is supposed to be lake. Okay, we'll just go straight into the eight. Doesn't really matter though because we're using all different greens anyway. Okay, that was the Stedla, so there was a bit of a double going over there. Oh. And the Stedlers went through. Okay, so actually, let's move the Pentels and the Stedlers out the way. So far, we've got three that didn't go through. Next is the Super Tips. Onto the Super Tips. Shouldn't go over the one before, really, because it's sort of cheating. Are the super tips going to go through this cheapy cheap paper? Yeah, not only where it's double layered and not as bad as the Stedler, but they did go through. So, super tips out of the running. Tombos. These feel totally different. They feel like they don't, I don't know, they just feel different. Maybe it's the nib. Anyway, I've done a bit of double layer, so we've given it a fair, fair shot. Combos. So, I've got a line now where I just caught it, but there is no, no bleed through on the Tombos. That's lovely. The tombos there. Yep, no, no bleed for on the tombos. And finally, on the fin paper, the tri plus. Let's do it down here so we don't get confused. Giving up any pretense of trying to colour nicely, haven't I? Okay, that's the tri plus. Down here, and did it 
go through yeah a little bit you can see the dots okay so we're abandoning the tri plus as well so what are we left with so we are left with the arteza twin markers which are brushed and fine tip the ohuhu brush markers which are brush and a uh is it a felty tip or a fine tip or really really fine tip the flare the paper mate flare and the tombos so interesting now i'm going to eliminate the paper mate flare because it's not nice to color with it doesn't feel like you're using a coloring implement it feels like you're using a writing implement so is the paper mate flare the best pen for coloring adult coloring no okay so the final three the Arteza Twee Marker, the Ohuhu water based thing, <laughs> which is triangular so it won't lay properly, and the Tombow Jewel Brush Marker. Now, these are the most expensive pens. These are £2 each or ish, that kind of £2.40, £3.20, depending where you go. These I got a set of 80 for £20, and these are a set of 100 for about 40 pounds depends when you buy them and i would say any of these really are pretty good for for adult coloring so it depends on your budget really you know let's put them in budget order that's probably the that's the budget order isn't it and they all did they've all got brush tips so that's an interesting thing so i really recommend brush tips for adult coloring and i think it's because when you're when you're coloring if the tip is rough it really stresses the paper on top of adding water to it so you kind of want that softness i'm just going to go back to this again so we can see the artesas did lay down really smoothly so it was arteza that was the ohuhu that was uh it was alphabetical so i was trying to remember that was sorry that was the flare that was the ohuhu that one there it's not a bad lay down. That was the Pentel, that was the Stedler, that was the Tombow, and that was the Tripless. No, that was the Super Tip, that was the Tombow, that was the Tripless. So really we're between this one, Arteza, Tombow, and Ohuhu. And that Tombow looks quite smeary there. The Arteza's looking better, which is interesting. Go back to my world of flowers. Should have left a little tab in. I'll just have a close up on the Arteza there. It's not a bad effect. That was the flare, the Ohuhus. Now we're sort of down to the top three. And the Tombos are all the way over here. It's interesting, isn't it? It is really personal preference of what you like. I seem to like the brush pens and I think the Tombow pens have got, oh, it seems to be multifaceted. They blend out really nicely with water uh, and they worked. They come up quite high in my mandala test, but they are expensive. But these two, I think, you know, you could go less wrong. You could do all right. You do all right if you bought either of these. So uh, in my opinion, these are good pens for adult colouring. So thanks very much for watching. I hope this was interesting. And I hope, if anything, it stops you buying pens that you don't need or helps you buy pens that you might want. So thanks very much for watching and take care, everyone. Bye.